Hi, this is Chesney from Wayne Public Library, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own posable pipe cleaner dragons. Now, you will have picked your kit up from the library, and in each kit, you'll have eight pipe cleaners, these two bits of popsicle sticks that are roughly the same color as your pipe cleaners, a pair of googly eyes, a sheet of foam, this sheet of six glue dots, and your template for all the foam cutouts. Now, to start with, you're going to draw on the template the shape that you want for the wings, the horns, the end of the tail, and the feet. So these squares outline the maximum size that those can comfortably be before they start to be too heavy for your dragon. And then these two have the base labeled because that's where your glue dots are going to need to be. So you will need to start at your base. Now you can draw whatever shape you want. The shape that you use might make your dragon look a little more scary or a little less scary. I made a few beforehand to show you some different shapes. See. This one that kind of goes back a little bit, and he has a pointy tail, some kind of curved horns, and some pointy feet. These two are a little smaller than yours are going to be. Um, same thing, these have more of like a bat type wing, and they have different tails and different feet styles. And then this one is very rounded, even his feet and the back of his tail and his wings. So you can draw whatever shape that you like. And you're going to start, like I said, at the base. And this is what I'm going to draw. And you're going to be cutting these out of the foam, so if you don't like your shape that much, you can erase it and start over and draw a new one. This is just for your outline. And then same with the horns. You're going to start at the base and say you want a curved horn. You're going to go something like that. And then for the end of the tail and the feet, there's no base that you have to have, but they do need to fit within the square. They don't need to be the entire square size, but they do need to fit in there and they need to be big enough to where you can stick a pipe cleaner through them to hold them on. So those are the shapes that I chose for my dragon. You can customize it however you want. I'm going to cut these out from the paper now that I'm happy with them, and I will be right back. Now that I have my pieces cut out from the template, we're going to be cutting them out from foam. Now on your template paper, it will say how many to cut out, but basically you're going to be cutting two wings out, so two of these, and then the horns, two of these, four feet, and just the one tail piece. For the foam, one thing I'm going to recommend is that you don't outline it in a pencil unless you're pretty certain that you have a good shape or you're drawing very, very lightly because the pencil is almost impossible to erase from the foam. So my recommendation is to just hold this up and cut as you go. You can always make minor adjustments if you need to with the foam. It doesn't have to 100% follow your template. And my other recommendation is that to make sure that you have enough foam, don't start right in the middle. Start up off to the side so you make sure that you can fit everything on your foam.
like I said, you don't have to be perfect. And then if there's any weird sharp edges or anything that you need to even out, you can do that afterwards just on the foam itself. You don't need to worry about it for right now. And I'm going to cut all my pieces out and I will be right back. So I have all my foam pieces cut out and now we're going to begin to actually assemble the dragon. And we're going to start by sticking the eyes and the horn onto the head, which is going to be this small piece. Now, when you place them, you're going to need to be careful because you need to have enough room to put an eye and a horn. So you're going to want to make sure you place those accordingly. You're going to take your glue dot and pull the back off of it. It should be stuck to the transparent part. And where you want your eyeball, you're going to press Make sure it sticks and slowly pull that away. If it doesn't stick, keep going over it um, and it should eventually. And then you're going to stick your googly eye there. Make sure you don't press on the googly eye too hard or it will dent. And then the glue dots are nice because you also don't need much drying time at all. So we can already move on to placing the next eye. You're going to want to place it directly opposite of your other one. Now, the part that has more space, that's where you're going to be putting your horns. You're going to be doing the exact same thing with the glue dots. Now, if your horns look a little big, you're welcome to trim them, but they will look smaller once we get the pipe cleaner actually wrapped around the head because that gives more volume to the head itself. Then we're going to add the other horn on the other side. Pipe cleaner will also help to separate these and make them stand out a little more and look a little more 3D. And then the last thing that we're going to be using the glue dots for is to stick the wings onto the body. Now it doesn't really matter um, which side you have the popsicle stick, one side is a little flatter because that's where it was cut, but it shouldn't make much of a difference. Um, and then the wing is going to be placed roughly in the middle of it. You know, put the glue dot roughly in the middle. And then decide whether you want your wing standing more up or off to the side. And we're going to place our final wing. And the pipe cleaner will be separating these a little bit as well. All right now we're going to move on to using the pipe cleaners. I did the first set of feet and legs off camera just for time. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So you're going to take one of your pipe cleaners and you're going to stick it through the base of the foot. Um, make sure you're not too close to the edge so it doesn't tear. You're gonna stick that through 
far enough to where you can fold it back up and kind of twist it around at the ankle so that it's firm and stuck there. And then on the other end, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to stick the pipe cleaner through. Um, if you have a little bit of difficulty sticking it through um, and you don't want to tear it, uh, if you have some type of push pin or safety pin at home just to poke a little hole in to begin with, um, that might help. But um, the pipe cleaner alone should be enough. You're going to twist the ankle there and then you're going to make sure they're twisted to where they both kind of lay going in the same direction and you're going to fold it to find the halfway mark. Then you have your two sets of legs. Now you're going to be doing the exact same thing with the tail piece. You're going to take one pipe cleaner, stick it through the tail piece, and tie that off at the end. Uh, but we're going to stick this tail aside for later. First we're going to put the legs onto the body. You're going to take the body and make sure that the feet are facing forward. And you put the halfway mark around the top of the body. You take one leg, wrap it around, and you can change the feet directions afterwards if you need to. And then you're going to take the other leg and wrap it around the opposite way. So you should see three bumps of the pipe cleaner right there. And then at the bottom, you're going to twist that together. And then you can mess with the feet and get them in the same direction, just like that. And do the exact same thing with the hind legs. Just make sure you're being careful um, with your wings. You're going to fold that over and around. And then you're going to fold this one over and around. Then you're going to twist these a couple times at the bottom. And make sure that your legs are pointing forward. Now you can mess with the positioning of them later, but you just want to make sure you get those pieces wrapped up. And now we're going to move on to wrapping the head. So you're going to take one of your pipe cleaners. And the good thing about this part is the pipe cleaners, um, as long as you aren't bending them in the same spot over and over and over and over again, you can straighten them back out and restart if you have issues covering them. The other good thing is that because the popsicle sticks are colored to be about the same color as the pipe cleaner, if you miss a spot, you shouldn't see any uh, color poking through um, because it'll match. It's not going to be the uh, light pipe cleaner co color. Um, so you're going to wrap behind the eyes, and then you're going to go around to wrap in front of the eyes. basically just trying to wrap any open spaces that you can see and then once you wrap around the snout area you're gonna pull this back and try to wrap it through the horns and around the front so that makes those stand out a little more and then wrap that around the back and pinch it off to where now the head is covered and you can see the eyes and the horns. Now we're going to move on to the neck, which is probably the most difficult part, just because it's the thing that has to connect the head to the body and also be sturdy enough to keep the head up. So we're going to start by wrapping around the head twice, and then make the neck about 
that length. Wrap that around tightly. And you're going to bring that piece back up and you're going to double wrap the neck just so that it's a little sturdier. There, and that looks good. For the body, you're going to take another one of your pipe cleaners and you are going to wrap it around the length like this. Which will cover up a little bit of the wings and help you with the uh, tip and tail. And then you're going to take a second one and do the wings. Kind of wrap that around the body, bring that up, and just like we did with the horns, you're going to take the pipe cleaner through the wings. And then make sure that you have all the bits of the foam covered up to where you can't see them, like this. And then let's start with the tail. So the tail, you're going to want to figure out roughly how long you want it. Um, I wouldn't, I would say maybe no more than roughly that length. And you're going to wrap that around the tail end. And then wrap it around the parts of the body just to make sure that it's stable and stays. And then if your dragon is all covered up now, um, you don't have to use the final pipe cleaner. I have made some that only took seven pipe cleaners and some that have taken eight, so I wanted to put in eight just to be safe. And with this one, uh, the only thing left to do is cover up any parts where you can see the popsicle stick color coming through. Or if there's any places where the dragon looks a little too thin and you would like to even it out. Uh, the hardest parts to cover are the ends, which is why we wrapped the one around lengthwise. You can even stick an extra one through the wings if you'd like them to stay apart even more. Um, other than that, you are done. Here are all of my finished dragons that I did. The fun thing about these is that they can all be unique from how the wings are positioned, uh, the shape of the horn, the feet, the way they're standing. Um, you can make them stand up, you can kind of make them relax like this, or you can even wrap them around something so they hold on to something. Um, and we'd like to thank you for joining us today. If you're joining us on Facebook and you make one of the dragons, feel free to post a picture in the comments below. Um, and we hope that you join us for more crafts in the future.